Good morning, Momos. <laughs> Welcome to a day in the life. Hello. <laughs> I'm actually about to put him down for his first nap. He woke up around 6.45. And that was, I was not... I was hoping it was going to be between 7.30 and 8 because that's what he had been doing. But the past two days, he's decided 6 a.m. <laughs> oh, yesterday, he woke up at 6. And then this morning, he woke up at, yeah, 6. It was technically like 6.35. And then he laid there for like 10 minutes just talking to himself while I got up and got ready to go and get him out. Um, but yes, about to go back down for his nippity nap naps. We've just been hanging out, playing, doing some tummy time, doing some mat time, standing on mommy's belly and squishing her. <laughs> it's great. It's a really fun time. I'm uh, attempting to learn guitar that started last night. Uh, so I was playing him the two chords that I've learned and he actually really liked it. <laughs> he just watched me the whole time. It was very cute. Um, and yeah. We're trying to decide what we're going to get into today. I guess we have to do something fun because we're vlogging, right? So, we'll see. Okay, literally, as I was like, what are we going to get into? My friend Abby texted me, and she's got two little babies, um, and said, would you want to go to the Arboretum, which is a really cool place here in Lexington that's got great walking trails, paths. I don't really, yeah. So, we're gonna go walk that because it's gonna be like 65 degrees today. And we love to take walks, don't we, Bubba's? <laughs> He's still working on his camera personalities, so just, you know, give him grace. <laughs> upstairs and we just hang out up here for a few minutes just to get him like I don't know back in his room prepared preparing for naps and we just hang out I might read him a book sit in the rocking chair for a minute um, and then I put him in a sleep sack and then we have a little routine which I will happily show you guys our very fancy nap routine just kidding it's not that fancy and then he goes to sleep simple as that have you ever tickled a tiger <gasps> have you ever hugged an octopus she has eight arms okay the end you ready for naps Now he is just kind of laying there chit chatting to himself a bit and uh, we'll be asleep in probably like five minutes or less. I don't know if what I filmed while I was upstairs caught any of the routine that we do, but it's very simple. So yeah, I bring him up to his bedroom and we hang out in there on the floor in the rocking chair, do a little tummy time, whatever, just kind of chill for like, anywhere from five to 15 minutes it depends on what time it is 
Um, and then he usually starts showing signs of tiredness up there because I usually bring him up before I know that he's ready for his nap. The first sign of tiredness, which for him is he starts doing this. <laughs> um, I put him in a sleep sack. Then usually the, his window curtain and shades are open and we go over there and we close them and we say, good night world, see you in a little while. <laughs> And then we go and turn on his sound machine. I say, we're going to turn this on. And I point to it and he watches. Turn it on. I say, good job. And then we go over to the fan. We turn that on. Good job. And then we go over to the light. And he now knows. He takes his little hand and like puts it on there. Because I use his hand to turn the light off. <laughs> and I say, all right. And then depending on how he's feeling, if he's like seeming like he's still kind of like awake-ish, I'll sing him just a few lines of I will trust my savior Jesus. And then I say, good night, have a good nap, I love you. And I lay him down wide awake. And then he lays there and puts himself to sleep with him. It used to be like 10 to 15 minutes he would fall asleep. Now it's like five minutes. Or less. <laughs> I think the reason that is is because one he's just gotten used to this being his routine and so he just knows and two I've gotten better at reading his tired cues so I'm not putting him down too soon or too late it's like right at the right time for him to be able to just calmly go in there and put himself to sleepies. And that's nap time. <laughs> we do that every nap <laughs> unless we're out then he just goes to sleep in the stroller or car seat. So here I am with my Dr. Pepper guitar. I've decided to learn how to play guitar because I've realized that I have failed growing up. Like I should have stinking learned how to play all the instruments. I can barely play the piano, not well enough. Um, but like, I just feel like guitar, I can just carry it around with me everywhere I go and just doop, doop, doop and it would be easier to write songs with the guitar. I mean, piano too, but whatever. I just figured I'd give guitar a try. Yes, we have this Dr. Pepper guitar. I have no idea why um, Paul's aunt won it in a competition or something, in a drawing. I think she like entered her name and she won it and gave it to Paul. <laughs> So that's what I'm working with right now. I told Paul if I play guitar for a month and like learn and am showing that I am actually gonna do this, then I would like to get an actual guitar that could be plugged up to my speaker and stuff. So yeah, um, my fingers hurt so bad and I've only been playing for one day. <laughs> wow, that sounded awful. Um, but yeah so here's my first chord e what why does it sound so terrible oh that's why i have it on the wrong string and then a okay well i'll figure it out eventually maybe Hold me accountable, you guys. <laughs> Let me learn how to play this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna practice a little, switching back and forth. You guys don't need to see this tragedy. When we went to Florida with Nate and Sutton, we were there and they, every morning for breakfast, had eggs, steak, and bread, like a piece of good bread. And I was like, that's delicious. And so ever since getting back from Florida, that's what I have been eating every morning for breakfast. Most of the days, a lot of the times I do it like for brunch. So it's like my breakfast and lunch and then I have dinner. But I woke up at 6.40, 6.35, whatever this morning and I'm ready to eat. So we gonna have it right now. So, a little bit of scrambled eggs with everything but the bagel seasoning. That's also something that they used and introduced me to. I knew that it existed, I just never really used it. And now 
I'm obsessed with it and want it in my eggs always. I bought this bread. It's a seeded ancient grain loaf. It's really stinking good, y'all. Like, I love seedy bread. I don't know why, but I just really enjoy it. I, I enjoy the little bit of crunch that I get from a seeded bread. So, this was delicious. <laughs> So you guys, as I sit here and enjoy my breakfast, let me just tattletale on myself a bit. So I used to be the type of person that was like, things should just come easy to me. And if they don't, then I wasn't meant to do them. <laughs> Which is why I have played about every sport, tried about every instrument. <laughs> I'm talking flute, violin, piano, I think I attempted drums, guitar, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I've done ballet, I've done gymnastics, I've done softball, I've done soccer, I've done basketball. <laughs> and when I was younger, like if it didn't come easy to me, then I would just be like, oh, I'm not supposed to do this. <laughs> or. I would pray, God, make this easy, or if it's not easy, then I'll take that as a sign as this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know where I got that mindset. I think it literally was just like the flesh in me, but I'm sad to say that I literally had that mindset even going into marriage with Paul, like, of like, if something's not easy, then it's not, like, I'm not supposed to do it. Obviously not when it comes to like marriage because I knew that that was going to be hard here and there or whatever, however often. I just remember like when Paul and I got married, <laughs> my lack of self-discipline really came to the forefront because I was living with someone who was incredibly disciplined and like it became just glaringly obvious to me and Paul that I <laughs> was not a disciplined person at all. Like, granted, if I really wanted to do something, like, I would do it. I would, like, discipline myself, do it, blah, blah, blah. But it wasn't even that I was disciplining myself. It was more like, I just really want to do this, so I'm going to do it. But if it was something that was like, I want to do this, but it's hard, mm, I might not do it. <laughs> oh, that's just part of my flesh. Part of what the Lord is refining me in. You know, as I'm, like, trying to learn guitar now... I just said a prayer last night and kind of was like, oh, wow, I've grown in this because rather than praying, Lord, would you just let me magically wake up and know how to play the guitar? <laughs> it was more like, Lord, you've given me the tools that I need to learn the guitar. Would you help me be disciplined enough to actually use those tools and learn how to play the guitar? Um, even though it's gonna destroy my fingers and you know, not be easy and so it sounds dumb like i'm 28 years old <laughs> praying that but my prayer at i don't know 22 would have been lord can you just teach me how to play the guitar in my dreams so that when i wake up i know how to play <laughs> and i don't actually have to practice and i'm just all of a sudden amazing at it maybe my prayers wouldn't have been exactly that but it would have been something like that which is embarrassing to say but that's the truth yeah i mean i've come just a very long way in discipline <laughs> so yay for refinement sorry for talking with food in my mouth but if i don't we're never gonna get anything talked about <laughs> try this breakfast you guys it's so good <laughs>
this part out so y'all don't see his private parts. I don't think he would appreciate that when he's older. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, Mom, why did you show that on live TV? Well, it wasn't live, but it was on the internet for the rest of your life. <laughs> Cargo pants. Cargo pants are back in, guys. Not for this gal. <laughs> and not for her husband. But for the baby, yeah. You can wear cargo sweatpants. You look cute in everything. Yeah. Wee! Oh, wow. It's so handsome. These color choices are just great. <laughs> Say we don't really care about that because we're going into nature. <laughs> and nature does not care about that. I don't. Hi. Let's go say good morning to Daddy. It's a mommy date with Abby. <laughs> All right, we just got done at the park, then ran to Target. I had to grab some more formula for this baby boy. Even though we're doing like half breast milk, half formula, what we're doing is like three ounces of formula, three ounces of breast milk in a bottle. Like we go through formula so fast. So when we start, like when we have to just do formula, oh, I can't even imagine how fast we're gonna go through these ca giant cans that are not cheap. Oh, All for this guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, I'll be back when we get home. We are home and this bouncer was delivered. Now let's talk about this because I personally have high expectations for this thing. Hoping that Luca is going to absolutely love it. But I just don't know if he will. <laughs> He wants to be sitting up. He does not love, like he's laying down right now and he'll be fine for a, a few minutes, but he wants to be sitting up majority of the day. And I have that up seat, but he gets bored in it. He's like, there's no, he knocks all of his toys off the tray immediately. And so thought it was time for a bouncer. This has 9,000 five star reviews. So I figured surely it's decent. So, Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Is that so cool? We gotta find something to put your feet on. <laughs> I just put him down for a nap and <laughs> he's just chit-chatting it up with himself. I, it's He's been awake for like two and a half hours, which is way longer than I normally keep him awake, but he was like showing zero signs of tiredness. So I was like, uh, we're just going to lay down and see if he'll fall asleep. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should have just kept him up until I saw signs of tiredness. She was kind of showing a you like he did throw his arm over his eyes a few times but other than that he was pretty stinging happy him how to bounce on this he has no he'll get it i mean honestly, oh yeah he definitely will i'd say give him like a week yeah. and he'll be bouncing himself for sure Won't you dude you've been doing this because you know how now <laughs> we had to put something down there because he's still a little he's too tiny but he's so cute he's so cute oh my goodness <laughs> Hello, Momos. It is time for bed. I tell you what, it's only nine o'clock, <laughs> but I was ready for bed at like six thirty. So Luca is going through his next leap, leap five, earlier which is pretty normal. It seems like he goes through the, like, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sorry, but look up the Wonder Weeks app. <laughs> um, but leaps are what your babies go through for, like, the first two years of their lives. Um, and it's basically just, like, growth spurts and, like, times in their life when they're, like, learning a lot um, and are, like, about to do a big like developmental growth type thing and also physical growth a lot of the times but anywho luca is basically been right on track every leap like a week before it says that he's in his next leap he's in his leap so which is weird because i even put like you're not supposed to put his due birth date you're supposed to put his due date and i did that but it's still wrong <laughs> so yes he is in leap five and it's just making him need like a ton more attention which he already you know baby needs attention but like he basically gets sick of his toys within two minutes nothing is that interesting he just wants mama to hold him and make silly faces at him all day long which, you know, I do that pretty much all day long with him. <laughs> um, or he really likes walks. So I have walked so much in the past several days. <laughs> oh, I was just exhausted. Me and Luca were like out and about basically all day. And then got home and Paul was out doing some work stuff. And came home and helped do nighttime routine and hang out with him for a few hours and then he actually went back out to hang out with some of his other rows which I am a-okay with because your girl likes to have 
some quiet time, the house to myself, it's nice every now and again, um, so I've just been enjoying laying here on the couch, basically doing nothing, and now I'm gonna go to sleep, alright, well, on that note, you guys, thank you for hanging out with me today, it's been a real one. Thanks for hanging with me. Love you guys. Comment below your favorite emoji to use. <laughs> uh, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because why not? We're making mommy content. Not mommy con. No, it's all kind of mom content. But the hope is that even if you're not a mom, you can enjoy watching my stuff. That I can bring encouragement to all the peeps out there. Alright guys, love you all so much. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Give this video a thumbs up. And remember that Jesus is the answer. Bye.